Have you ever wondered what makes an outfit look expensive? Well, if you have, then you have come to the right place because I'm gonna be sharing nine expensive looking outfits in today's video, but all of the pieces are very budget friendly. I believe that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on every single piece in your outfit. There are tips and tricks that you can do every single day to help your outfits look luxurious, look expensive, but they don't have to break the bank. So along with the nine non-expensive, however, very luxurious looking outfits, I will also be sharing some tips and tricks that I swear by, that I practice every single day, and all of them are guaranteed to make your outfits look more expensive. Now make sure you listen to this entire video because the last item I'm going to be sharing is a key hero piece that every woman needs. It is definitely a timeless and classic piece that looks very expensive expensive. However, it's not expensive and you can wear it to so many different places. And like I said, it's the hero piece of any woman's wardrobe. So stick around to the end of the video because it will definitely be worth the wait. I want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Lily Silk is one of my favorite online destinations. They have the most amazing timeless and classic pieces such as tops, blazers, dresses. Um, their silk pieces are so beautiful, so luxurious looking, but because they are from Lily Silk, they will not break the bank. But again, they're all very high quality. So I have a few pieces in this video from Lily Silk and I can't wait to share them with all of you. Everything that I am talking about will be linked down below in my description box. Okay, expensive outfit number one, and this is an outfit color combination that always looks expensive, and that is camel and white. I don't know why, I guess because they're both neutral colors. It doesn't have to be like a stark white, it could be an ivory white, an off white, but camel specifically always looks expensive because it's a neutral color. It's just a beautiful sort of earth tone. Earth tones are another you know, group of colors that also always look very luxurious. So this is a beautiful camel silk blouse from Lily Silk. You guys, I love this blouse. It would be perfect to wear to the office but you could also wear it with jeans like I have here and wear it to a lunch date or a dinner date. Um, you know, the possibilities are endless because you really can't have too many high quality silk button downs, especially when they are in this beautiful, luxurious camel color. I love leaving this few top buttons undone, showing off a neck stack, you know, adding accessories to your outfit, like simple gold accessories, just very minimal is another way to make your outfits look expensive. Always adding a belt. This is a clinch belt that I literally wear all the time. It's silver and gold. I think mixing silver and gold is another way to really amp up your looks, elevate them. And then these are some amazing ivory jeans. These are by Silver Lake. They're a high-waisted modern skinny jeans so they aren't like that super low waisted jegging which is definitely out of style in 2023 so ditch those ladies if you haven't already um, these ivory jeans are like an absolute spring and summer staple I literally wear them all the time during these two seasons I love this denim because it's thick enough so it's gonna hide any of those challenge areas these are just a beautiful pair of ivory jeans and as you can see this camel and ivory look looks very expensive even though it's not. All right, the next tip to avoid when wanting to look expensive is avoid crazy loud prints. And instead of crazy loud prints like, you know, big florals or just like zebras or, you know, mixture of zebra and florals, like whatever it is, avoid the crazy loud prints. And I would say if you're going to pick one print that almost always looks expensive, that would be stripes. So I think stripes are classic. I think they're sophisticated and they're always going to look expensive. So this is a striped mini dress from Lily Silk. You guys, how fabulous is this dress? I think it's so perfect for spring and summer. I loved pairing it with just a simple gold heel. And then this is a metallic crossbody Bottega bag. But back to the striped dress, you guys, it's comfortable, it moves easy. The fact that it's shorter, it has a shorter hemline, but it does have longer sleeves. So this creates some fantastic balance in the look. Anytime you wear something short, you're gonna show off a 
lot of your legs. You wanna make sure you cover up the top portion of your body, and this does exactly that. This material is silk, so it's very high quality. And again, because it's the navy and white stripes, it's gonna look way more expensive than it really is. I cannot wait to wear this dress to like a luncheon or just a fun lunch date on the weekends or a Sunday brunch or something like that. I am carrying this beautiful new metallic Bottega bag I just purchased from Forward by Elise Walker. You guys, I love a metallic bag. This is probably the one color of bag that will go with all of your spring and summer looks. It's super fabulous. And I just love the size of it. It's big enough to carry during the day, but you could also carry it in the evening. It's a perfect crossbody, so it really does a great job of making your looks appear modern and sophisticated, but also very expensive. Now, this one is actually an expensive bag because it is by Bottega, and that is a high premium designer. However, I did find a similar gold bag that I will be linking down below for you guys that's very budget friendly, super fabulous. It would go with all of these looks and because it's a metallic shade it's guaranteed to make them all look more expensive than they really are outfit combination number three that always looks expensive is wearing all black I don't know about you but whenever I see a woman wearing all black it is just super powerful that woman always looks confident she always looks amazing and she definitely always looks like she's wearing expensive clothing the reason is darker solid fabrics like black like navy like gray anytime those colors are darker colors they're gonna hide the fabric even if it's not a high quality fabric because it's a dark color you won't be able to really tell so when in doubt when you're deciding you know what color to buy if you really want it to look expensive choose the darker color obviously black is the darkest color so it's always going to look expensive this is a fabulous black um, top, sleeveless top from Lily Silk. I love the fact that it cuts in at the shoulders. It's a mock turtleneck, so very sophisticated, very classy. And the material is super soft. It lays beautifully over your body. It looks great tucked into these black A. Goldie Riley jeans. These are another denim silhouette that I'm really loving right now, high-waisted with a modern sort of slim straight leg. And I love this black wash. Black denim goes with anything. It always looks expensive. You can wear it all year round. So this is a great all black look. I'm actually going to a neighborhood happy hour tonight. And I think that this is the exact outfit I will be wearing. I also added a clinched black belt with a gold buckle and the, the gold Bottega crossbody bag and then my gold cult Gaia heels. I think adding gold accessories, especially to black, is also another way to look more expensive even when you're on a budget. Okay, outfit combination number four that always looks luxurious and expensive is navy and white. I think anytime you pair these two colors together, it not only looks sophisticated and classy, but it also looks expensive. So these are some fabulous navy trousers from Lily Silk. If you work in the office and you're needing some fabulous office attire, I highly recommend these pants. The fit is impeccable. They're high-waisted. They have an elastic waist in the back, so they're are very comfortable wide leg trouser pants are having a huge moment this spring and I'll have to say I'm a big fan because they're just comfortable and I just think they look extremely chic what I paired them with is a simple white button down you can't get more classic than that a white button down is always gonna look expensive especially if it's this high quality fabric like this one is from Lily Silk I loved tying it at the waist I think it gives it a little bit more of a casual vibe but if you wanted to dress it up you could have just buttoned it like regular and tucked it in like I wore the camel button down. So it's just kind of your option. You know, when I wear button downs, I tend to tie them at the waist just because my lifestyle is a bit more casual. And I just think it looks a little bit more effortless and laid back. But I love this white button down. It would be fabulous for spring and summer. Pair it with the trousers, but you could also wear it with denim. You could also pair it with a pair of cutoffs. Like literally the possibilities are endless because a classic white button down, if it's made, of high quality material will always look expensive. All right, tip number five is always adding a third layer. I would say, I don't know, maybe 95% of the time, I always wear a jacket. Why? Because I just feel more polished, I feel more put together, and I always also think that it just amps up my outfit, making it look more luxurious and look more expensive. 
So this is a perfect example of a blazer that looks expensive, but it isn't. It's $89, you guys, can you believe that? This Steve Madden faux leather cropped blazer, super amazing, perfect for spring and summer. I wore it out the other night with girlfriends. I got a ton of compliments on it, and they all were like stunned when I told them it was only $89. So you guys, this, this one is amazing. I promise you it will sell out. So if you love it as much as I do, push pause and go grab it before it sells out. The the reason it looks expensive is because it's faux leather, so it's a high quality material that's not going to wrinkle. It's also a neutral color. And those are two aspects you need to always keep in mind when you are picking clothes out if you want them to look more expensive than they really are. I just paired this jacket with a simple white bodysuit, and then these are some Derek Lamb high waisted ripped denim. Love these jeans, they're super flattering. They have a split hem ankle and then a floor skimming hemline, which is the perfect perfect formula for looking taller and slimmer. All right, the next tip is to choose basics over trend pieces. Obviously, basic, classic, and timeless pieces are always gonna look more expensive than trend pieces. So I'm gonna show you an outfit. I just shot this with my Chic at Every Age group. We do a blog post about once a month styling one thing, four different ways depending on our ages. So this is a white button down and a pair of denim. Obviously we're all wearing a different white button down and a different pair of jeans. But I wanted to show y'all what I was wearing specifically because even though it may look expensive, it's not. This white button down that I'm wearing ties at the waist. It's actually a bodysuit from Express. And because of the material, it's wrinkle free. It lays on my body beautifully. The fit is impeccable. It doesn't look like it costs, I think it's like 50 or $60. Like it really looks more expensive than that. Then these jeans also look like designer denim, like $200 jeans because the fit is so well and the denim is high quality. But these jeans, you guys, under $100. Would you believe that? They are a mid-rise with a floor skimming hemline. I love this light wash for spring and summer. So as you can see, my outfit doesn't break the bank, but because it's neutral tones, because it's high quality materials because I'm carrying a high quality handbag my outfit looks luxurious I also have on the jewelry that I talked about earlier that's gonna amp up the look making it look more expensive than it really is now if you wanted to wear a trend piece my suggestion is if you still want your outfit to look expensive is to choose one piece of your outfit that is the trend piece so this is another outfit my chic at every age gals and I shot the other day we had so much fun shooting this in Holland Park Village but the one trend piece would be this hot pink blazer you guys how fun is this blazer from Express super fabulous it's wrinkle free but because it's from Express it's a very reasonable price and it's also like I said wrinkle free so it's going to look more expensive than it really is even though it is hot pink which is a really bright color because it's a solid i still think it looks luxurious so this is a really amazing blazer and then i just went with a white bodysuit and then those same under a hundred dollar jeans from express but again because they have such an impeccable fit they look more expensive than they really are Tip number seven is to pay attention to fabrics. So fabrics that look expensive are um, high quality fabrics such as silk, such as wool, such as leather, even faux leather and vegan leather look more expensive than say a really thin fabric that's gonna wrinkle. Like literally my worst pet peeve when it comes to fashion is anything that wrinkles. So if I get something in that wrinkles, you know, I will steam it once, but then if it continues to wrinkle, like forget it, I'm not gonna wear it because I just don't think there's anything more sloppy and like frumpy and inexpensive looking than wearing clothes that wrinkle. So pay attention to the fabrics when you are picking out your clothes and this will make a huge difference. So this is a $49 dress, you guys. Can you believe that? I cannot. It is a solid color, so that's why number one reason it looks expensive. Number two reason is it, it is high quality material and it is wrinkle-free material. It's also a little bit on the baggier side. I mean, it's not like a super tight, slim-fitting dress. It just lays beautifully. You can wear the V-neck in the front. You can wear the V-neck in the back. So I love the fact that you have this option. This dress does come in black as well. So if you really 
really wanted to amp up your luxurious vibes for this outfit, I would say go with the black dress version of this. But I loved the blue for spring. And then I did top it with a third layer following my roll to really amp up the look. This is a Cinquecet leather jacket. I love it. It's cropped. It's a beautiful pearlized shade that just is so amazing for spring and summer. Okay, the last outfit, outfit number nine. This is the key hero piece that every woman needs in her wardrobe. This is the Lily Silk Black Blazer. You guys, this blazer is stunning. The material is high quality. It's cut in at the waist, just like a well-structured blazer should be cut. It has beautiful gold, luxurious buttons, making it look way more expensive than it really is. In fact, this blazer reminds me of the Balmain blazer, but instead of being $2,000 plus, dollars, this one is a very reasonable price. I absolutely love it. I paired it with classics a white bodysuit and some simple flare jeans. These are by Superwoman, high-waisted, you know, leg lengthening flares. I say this a ton on my channel, but the, the most universally flattering style of denim on the market is the high-waisted flare. So these are fantastic. They also come in a lighter wash, which I will link for you guys as well. But I love this medium wash because you can literally wear it all year round. But the black blazer from Lily Silk, a timeless staple that my wardrobe couldn't live without. I don't think your wardrobe could live without it either. You can wear it so many different places, the office, you know, to church, on a date night, on a girl's night out, casual on the weekends with t-shirt and sneakers. Like if you don't already have an amazing blazer that fits well, that's timeless, that's versatile, you absolutely need one. It will be the backbone to all of your outfits and I highly recommend this one by Lily Silk. Please let me know what your favorite look was because I always love hearing from you guys. I wanna thank Lily Silk again for sponsoring this video. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope all of you have a beautiful day because you deserve it and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.